Hello and welcome back to another Python by example tutorial. My name is Tom with the Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a web server gateway interface or WSGI um, with Python. And this is just going to be a basic function based um, uh, web server gate gateway interface. So basically, we're just going to create the simplest uh, WSGI we can tonight. Um, in the future tutorials, we're going to expand our knowledge, uh, like next one we'll do class-based and we'll keep building on it until we have a full-fledged um, working web app, all right? So uh, we're, I'm just going to walk you through these steps so you guys best understand it. I had another tutorial where I explained Django's WSGI, a lot of negative feedback, and I'm being told a lot of these people wanted to... Uh, learn more about WSGI. So the best way to learn that is to build your own. All right. So that's what we're going to do in today's tutorial. So let's get started. Um, we're going to create a, uh, let's see. Um, all right, hold on. Let me create a directory here. I can't put it in that file. I'm just going to call it a uh, web. All right. In that directory. Now I'm going to create a app. Once this, wakes up there we go um, app.py all right so in here we're going to need to import something Python already has a package for um, web server gateway interfaces available to us and it, it, it's a lot of good helper um, uh, a good start for us to build a WSGI and it's in the WSGI REF or ref um, package so we're going to go ahead and import that so we'll say from WSGIREF like that dot simple server we're going to import make server so this function here will allow us to make a server all right so the next thing we want to do is we want to create our web app and this is going to be a very simple web app right um, there's going to be no bells and whistles I just want to show you guys how we do this and then we're going to build on it like i said prior so this function that we're going to create here is going to be our web app all right so we're going to call it our function web app like that all right now this takes two required parameters first one's an environmental uh parameter which is a cgi styles variables we're not even going to worry about that right now we're just going to put in the the parameter and we're not going to worry about that into the next tutorial uh, so we'll go ahead and do environment, I guess we'll put in there. I spelled environment wrong. All right, so our next parameter is going to be our response. Now, uh, response would be uh, your your um, status, so 200 or 404, something like that. Uh, we're going to return to 200 because we obviously want to see our page. And also um, in the response, we usually respond with headers. Um, important information like is it an HTML document or is it a text document something like that so we'll put that in there as well so for now we're just gonna put response in here as a parameter and then our colon all right uh, next thing we want to do is create a variable uh, that's gonna hold our status so like I said status and whoop, status like that and it's gonna be a string and we're gonna say 200 and then okay all capital letter, capitalized letters um, for status, it must be four characters long, so you can't just put 200. Uh, so I suggest you put 200 OK. Um, next one we're going to do is create our headers. So we'll do headers, and it's going to go in a list, and then it's going to be a tuple, because um, we can add multiple headers. And like I said before, we're trying to create the simplest uh, WSGI. So we're going to stick with that, and we're going to say content type. And this is where we're going to declare what kind of content type we are passing. Um, we are passing uh, HTML in this one. So we'll do text, uh, HTML, and then colon. And we'll set a uh, character set too. So character set is UTF, whoa, UTF-8, all right? Just like that. Now we're just gonna set our response and we'll do response and we'll go ahead and set status comma headers like that and now we want to go ahead and return our content to our website if you will uh, so we're going to go ahead and return something so we'll return and it goes in the list and 
and it's got to be binary. So we put the B and then the string, and we're going to say strong tag so we can return some bold text here. We'll say hello world. I just created my first WSGI. All right. And then we'll close out that tag like this. And there we go. So this is what's going to be displayed on our page if everything works correctly. Hopefully it does. So now we got our web app. This is our web app. It's very advanced, by the way, let me tell you. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and build our server now. So with a server, we're going to use a with statement. So we're going to say with make server. Remember, we imported this up here. All right, make server. Now this takes a couple arguments. Uh, the first one is going to be the host uh, defaults to localhost. So we're going to go ahead and leave that blank. An empty string I should say um, next thing is going to be our port 8000 if you guys have ever used Django if you can open Django 8000 is a good one um, and then finally our next argument is going to be what app are we displaying or what content do we want to serve we're going to serve our web app up here so we're going to go ahead and bring in web underscore app just like that and then we're going to pass a variable because this is a with statement as server all right. Um, we might as well print a message to the user, letting them know uh, where to find their website. So we can say uh, first we'll do um, print and we'll say serving on port 8000. All right, like that. And then we'll do a new line character and we'll do uh, visit. Uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 colon 8000 just like that and we'll do another new line so we can tell the user how to kill the server so we'll do to kill the server uh, the server we enter uh, control plus C and that looks good and finally we're going to go ahead and um serve up our server so we're going to go ahead and do serve and then do um serve wise oh what the, oh server is our variable server serve forever so what the serve forever method does is it will serve it forever until we kill it via the terminal or if we uh, have an error somewhere and it kills itself <clears throat> it's going to serve forever now there's other options where we can just serve one thing and then it kills itself but right now we're just going to want to serve it forever we want our website to run forever so cool so there you go you have a simple web app up here this is our simple web app and this is our simple server right here. So uh, let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So to run this, we're going to go ahead and I don't know why that didn't show up. But let's see what I got here. CD web and LS. And then we're going to do Python app.py. And I got an error. Err on line 12 line 12 where do I have an error oh wait I don't have an error I ran silly me we're on I'm on a different computer uh, python3 dot or python3 app dot py there we go. Uh, I ran it in Python 2. That's why we had an issue. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and refresh this page. And it says, hello world. I just created my first WSGI. Alrighty. And if you visit, well, I should have told you this in the first place. I had it up before from my test. 127.0.0.1, uh, 8,000 will return the um, web page that we're looking for. Uh, also, if you come in here, it will show you what's being ran. Um, it served up a favicon and HTTP. So uh, there you go. Uh, there is the simplest web app in uh, our WSGI project that you'll build in Python. We're going to continue building uh, your knowledge on this, and we'll build more advanced 
web apps as we move on. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial.